Okay, so, hi guys, this is Miss Lollipop, and welcome back to episode, uh, 14, I think. I think I got that right. Um, of the Sims 3 Simon Says Challenge. So we were obviously picking up from where we left off, and as I said, um, we literally just had, uh, Madel Madeline, Madeline, however you know, you know, say it. Um, uh, we just had, you know, our first baby girl, and she is so adorable, oh my god. <laughs> so, uh, I ended up making her a room upstairs, and I'm gonna, uh, bring you upstairs so you can go see that with the lights on. So let me, uh, send Jamie up there. But, uh, I also made a smaller bathroom next to it as well, uh, you know, so anybody who is upstairs can also use that, um, as well. And I'm really happy with how the room turned out. I think it's so so adorable but yeah you can see it there and obviously um we have you know the cart and i added you know some pillows in there and also like this curtain that's hanging and it's oh it's so adorable and then i thought i'd jazz it up a bit and give it like you know a feature wall so i added a feature wall in here and it looked a bit weird just you know from this color to this color so i added in the columns here and then um you know to they looked a bit weird by themselves so then i added these you know these things from the store I think they're from the store anyways. And I added them on them. And then obviously I clustered loads of little toys. Because um, this is pretty much what my room looked like when I was younger. So yeah, why not? <laughs> so I'll go ahead and put um, Madeline in the crib here. Oh, and I'm hoping that the pillow does not affect it. No, okay. Because usually like they clip through the pillow. But um seems like I actually put it in a good spot, right? So... Uh, we're gonna have Jamie head downstairs and go grab some mac and cheese because it is like 3 a.m. and she is obviously starving. Um, Colby needs to go to bed and uh, Tyson just arrived so he can put Colby in his crib um, and then he can come and grab some mac and cheese as well. And then I'm gonna have them both head to bed here. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and accept your guys' gift. I'm gonna accept five of them. Uh, here, I'm going to go right the way to the bottom and accept them through here. And yes, uh, if you would like to send me any gifts as usual, head down in the description below, which has my Sims username. If you would like to add me as a friend, I accept every single one. And of course, if you would like to send me a gift, I open them on camera. So, there's your shout out. So, thank you, Key Chips, for the um, portable fire pit. Thank you very much. I'll go ahead and send you a surprise gift box back. Um, thank you once again, Key Chips for um another gift this is a note to anyone watching you read this right now stay fabulous youtubes youtubers um so thank you for the bed i'll go ahead and send you another gift back here um thank you sim boys uh 564 says love your videos here is something for you and the 100 sims 3 100 baby challenge i'm sorry i didn't open it on the 100 baby challenge but i will accept it through here um, and it is the Reflectinator, which is actually, you know, a mirror. I'll go ahead and send you another gift back. Thank you very much. As uh, so we've got, uh, two more gifts to send today. So, Hannah May 9 thank you very much for the lights. I'll go ahead and send you a surprise gift box back. And thank you very much, Wired Dizzy Girl, for the gift of a light as well. And I'll go ahead and send you, um, a gift package back. So that is all the gifts I can send for today. I'm very sorry if I, you know, didn't get to your gifts here. They will be opened in the next episode of, you know, whatever, you know, gets uploaded. Hopefully, if it happens the next day, because obviously I'm, I have a limit of how many I can send a day. But, um, yeah. So, we have 18 uh, Life of Happiness. We have 28 over here. So we're actually, you know, not doing too bad for the money. And I keep saying it, but I need to get that, you know, video up of how you guys can enter in that, you know, in that thing, that, that uh, competition that I'm going to upload. And obviously I have to get the giveaway sorted out for uh, 100,000, uh, 100,000, oh, I wish, <laughs> um, 1,000 subscribers. But yeah, I don't know why I said 100,000. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me today. I lose it every day. Trust me. You guys know. You guys know the dealio. So, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and skip until, um, you know, either one wakes up, and obviously we will continue with tomorrow, which is, uh, Monday. So, obviously I'm pretty sure 
Tyson has work and uh, we'll take Jamie out. Um, and we'll go do something with her, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, uh, I'll see you guys when they okay, wake up. Okay, so hi guys, we are back. And obviously, I thought I'd record this yet. You know, why not? Um, Maddie is crying, so we need to go and uh, sort her out here. Um, she is hungry and her social is now down as well. So we're going to go up and uh, sort her out here. There we go. And she should be aging up in three days. And Colby ages up in three as well. So, you know, their, their age spans are uh, A-OK. -okay. Uh, what is that sound? Okay, that's really annoying. There is a vehicle reversing outside my window. Isn't that lovely? Anyways, I'm gonna, you know, skip when they wake up again. But, yeah, I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so, hi guys. Sorry, I'm moving. But, um, yeah, Tyson is now awake and it is 12pm. But, obviously, he has the excuse because he's on, you know, late shifts. And, obviously, um, I mean, Jamie just gave birth, so she always has the excuse. But, um, anyways, he's gonna go sort out Colby and... Give him his uh, breakfast and everything, and then you need to head over, go use the toilet, and go have an extreme shower, and then clean out the bad food, and also go grab some birthday cake because we always have an extra birthday cake. Um, there we go. I would like to throw Tyson his bachelor party soon as well because I think that'll be pretty fun. You know, to spice everything up, but yeah. Um, what else do you want to do? You want to potty train Colby. Uh, well, you want to snuggle Madeline too. No. Okay. There we go. Um. Okay, so it's six days until summer. So, love day is on Thursday. So, we have that to look forward to also. Um, Colby is now crying again. But I'm going to go have him go play on this thing. And see if he can start building his skill up in that. Because obviously uh, he is virtuoso. And um, what I'm thinking I'm going to do is hopefully the, the kids age spans won't be too far apart if we have our next child soon. And I'm thinking that obviously when the, uh, when the babies and everything age up, I'm going to have all three of them move out together. And then obviously we'll continue the challenge with the next generation which will be these. Um, and I'm not sure whether I'm going to, you know, take Jamie and Tyson or whether I'm going to leave them. But my aim for so far will obviously be we'll take the kids and we'll play with all three of them. And, uh, you know, we'll live their lives out. And then obviously we'll continue with the challenge and, uh, you know, find out who we want to, you know, because I kind of want to get to know them. Uh, and, you know, what they're like in their adulthood before we, you know, set ourselves off. So, yeah. But if you would like to see any of the challenge rules or whatever we have to do for, you know, this part of the challenge, then head down in the description because I do have a link to the uh, forums where I found um, the challenge and all of its rules. So, yes. Um, looks like Maddie is about to cry. So, we're going to go grab her here and sort her out. And snuggle and play with. Um, Jamie is just about to wake up here, so she's going to go use the toilet, um, go jump in the shower, and then head downstairs and go grab some birthday cake as well. Um, Colby's doing okay. Uh, however, he does need to be potty trained in a second. Um, there we go, Tyson's taking his jolly well time. Jamie played 390 smiles for personal time off, which is frickety awesome. Um, I would also like to get a cat, I think. I know it's a bit random, but, um, yeah, I know. I, you know, I fancy getting a cat, okay? If I want a cat, they're going to get a cat. It's going to be like the family cat, and it's going to be so cute. Because, honestly, I'm going to, you know, put it out there, and I don't know whether anybody else feels the same way. But as I've never had a cat and I am personally scared of them in real life because I've had bad experiences where they scratch me and it's scary. So I've never had a cat. I'm very swayed towards dogs, um, especially on The Sims. And I only ever had a cat once on the, Sim, uh, on the Sims. And I found out that they're really, really interesting. They do loads of interesting things and I think it'll be pretty fun. 
and I was just wondering if you guys, you know, have the same thing, like, you know, do you, because you have animals at home, are you typically, you know, swayed towards having different animals on Sims, you know, casual question time of the day. <laughs> um, anyways, Colby has learned all he can from the xylophone, this uh, is sure to aid him in skill development later in life, so that is um, pretty snazzy if I do say so. You need to go change his nappy and Jamie needs to go and continue writing this report on Quinn Wozni um, and, you know, get that report up for her work because she will be going back in three days, obviously. So, yeah, um, does Tyson have work today? Yes, he does in five hours. So, we should be set until um, about then. I'm pretty sure somebody's just about to walk in. So, I'm going to go ahead and pick right off okay so hi guys i'm back um and nobody actually walked through the door but i've now opened my window so i can see if anybody pulls up on the drive so yeah awesome um anyways uh i would like to change well no do i want to change the sofas i kind of do they kind of look orange but you know do i do i want to let me go ahead and change the color and see if um i like them anymore because right now i'm not liking them um, yeah, see, I'm not feeling that. Eh, no, no. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, maybe try that in white. Um, am I feeling it? Are you guys feeling it? I'm not really feeling it, if I'm honest. Um, maybe just change this to all white. I think I want white sofas, but I don't know. In fact, you know what? I like that better. The white sofas look better. I don't mind those sofas, to be honest. You know, they're not actually too bad of sofas. I want cream sofas now. <laughs> not too cream. Just a little bit cream, you know? There we go. It's like an off-white. That's better. There we go, it's not too in your face like the orange ones. I don't think, that, oh, they, I, I tr didn't try to make them orange. They look brown when I was making them, but I knew excuses. Anyways, uh, Tyson is not going to head back to bed. Tyson is going to get up and he's going to start um, training Colby to talk, unless he's already done that. And then he can potty train him. So, if you'd like to go over there for me, Tyson. Thank you. Um, no, he already knows how to talk. Alright then, well then we'll just potty train him, won't we? So let's just add background and then we, we'll do this a load of times and then hopefully he'll get that done before he goes to work as well. Um, Jamie is nearly finished, I think. She does want to become a business partner, partner, which is pretty interesting. I mean, we haven't really got the funds for it now because obviously we want to move soon. But slowly, obviously, it'll progress and we'll earn more money from, you know, what we paid for it. Which is pretty cool, but yeah. Um, okay, so let's check for, before we, you know, finish doing that. Let's check for pets to adopt and I'm going to see if there is any kitty cats that I like the look of and there is no pets to adopt in the neighborhood oh I said check neighborhood I didn't mean to click that I meant to say click the other one there we go okay so cats and they should load up here so we have a female kitten called Mips I'm not feeling her I kind of like Susie she's pretty cute uh, and Kai Oh, Kai's pretty cute. Oh, so we've got Fluffy the cat. Um, she is clueless and a hunter. Uh, I do want a kitten, I think. I'm not sure whether I like Susie or whether I like Kai. Okay, I don't, don't know. Um, uh, I think I like Kai. Okay. I think I'm going to change her name though, and it's going to be Kay. So that I know how to say it. <laughs> and we're going to adopt K. There we go. So let's go ahead and continue writing the report. And I'm going to head down here and start getting some cat items in here. There we go. 
pet essentials. Uh, you know what? Let me go here and then go on cats and then we can filter by cats and there will be more options in here. So, obviously we would like to get her a little gym thing here, which isn't going to fit. That's a bit of a shame. And there we go. Uh, you know what? Screw it, we'll use move objects. I want it to fit. There we go. She should be able to climb up on there. I'm thinking... Let me move out of the wall a second. There we go. And then we'll get her a little, you know, kitten bed uh, that I want to choose the colour of. Um, and like a little white one. Oops, no. No, no, no. No, no. Um, grey. Oops. No, what am I doing? Here, grey. Grey. Yeah, that works. And then we'll just make that black. Yep, I'm feeling it. It's pretty cute. Um, okay, we'll get her a little feather thing, a wall dancer. Okay, we'll get this one here. And we'll just put that right there. Um, ooh, we got a little kitty bag. Ah, oh, these are so cute! Do they come in like different colours? You know what? No, we don't need a kitty bag. What am I doing? What am I thinking of? Um, we do need a little cat tray though. So we'll give her, like, a, since she, I think, is she proud? I think she was proud, so we should get her, like, the diamond ones. Because they're cute, and we'll put that in there. Um, and then I think, if you can hear me turning my head, then I'm looking out the window. <laughs> if you can always, you know, because you can, you can kind of hear me turn, I don't know. If you can. Oh well. And then we'll put the little kitty thing in now. It works. There we go. So we've got everything for Kay. And she should be all set um, to go now. Which is pretty cool. Um, okay. So. Uh, you are nearly done with Colby here. A few more. Jamie has submitted a thorough report on Gwen Wozni's activities, hobbies and pastimes. Past past, oh, pastimes. That sh shouldn't that have okay? Shouldn't that have a space, or am I just bad? Oops. Am I just bad? I think I'm bad. Anyways, you're not reading. Come on, I think you have other reports to do. Yeah, you do. Do a report on Lily Lum. Anyways, thank goodness Colby was potty trained and just in time too. So he is obviously uh, all donezoed, and we should be um, okay with him here. <laughs> Uh, good thing as well, because Titan literally has to head off to work right now. So he's going to run off. Um, Jamie is obviously continuing that report, but she needs to stop and make the bed. Um, um, what is Colby doing? He's just playing with his imaginary toy. Uh, Maddie is not really doing much of anything either. Um, I'm going to have... Um, Jamie actually head downstairs though. Oh, actually she's going to go receive the instruction. But then I'd also like to go have her pay the mails and get the bills. Uh, pay the bills and get the mail. And, um, and then obviously Kay is sitting down here. She's so cute. Come over here. Look how big her eyes are. Oh, the different colours. <gasps> um, okay, so we have to get across. You need to cross the road. Are you stuck under the car? Are you stuck in the car? Here is your new pet, Kay. Please love her and give her a wonderful home. So, if Kay could get out of there, I'd be able to come pick her up. So, come pick up pet. Oh, dare not, Weeby! What are you doing? This is so awkward. Come on. Come pick up the pet. Would you please? Pick up pet. Why? Go over here. Ugh, she's in like a dodgy zone. Come over here then. Cross the road. No, you can cross the road. I've seen you do it before. Cross here. Come on, go, 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 go. 
Look around that. What is wrong with you? You know, I hate where we live right now. It's really annoying. Okay, you're coming home. You're on the other side. We can pick you up. And then, quick, pick up pet. Pick up pet. Oh, she fell over. Aww. Feed treat. What just... What? Jamie, where did... Hell, do you just go? Come back here. I'm busy doing something here. Get over here. God. No, Kay. I couldn't get you inside. What is wrong? Ah, oh, her. Okay, you can ah. So pick her up. Please, please, can I do this? Please, just let me do this. Stay there. No, don't you dare move. Don't you dare. Pick up pet. Okay, thank God. We got her. Okay. And then you want to put pet down here. Okay. Good. We got it. We got this. And then we need to head upstairs to Maddie, who is obviously crying. So she needs her nappy changed, um, her bustle, snuggle, and play with. Um, what is Kay doing? Kay is tired, so she is going to go ahead and head to bed. Um, look at her eyes. Look, she got one blue and one grey one. Ah, oh, so cute. Um, okay. Head upstairs here. Um, don't know why I held that note for so long. <laughs> um, okay, you actually do need to go use the toilet. Um, and also come and fill Kay's food bowl up uh, because she will need that eventually as well. Um, then clean out the bad food. And then Colby needs a bottle before you do that. And then fill the bowl. Fill the bowl. Fill the bowl. And then clean out bad food. And Colby is going to stop playing with Oscar. There we go. Okay, I'm in here. There we go. You want to snuggle Colby. Sn I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Snuggle Colby and then put him in the crib. Uh, Fudge, Chester. Come on, stop snoring, please. Just let me get this recording <laughs> done and then you can snore you like. Um, if you guys can hear that, then my dogs are snoring in the background. Isn't that just lovely? Yeah, you can hear him. I can hear him. Chester, fudge. There we go. I think that sorted him out. Um. Okay. So. Um. Tyson has left work today. And he has earned a bit of moolah. Uh, he has not been promoted yet though. Which is unfortunate. But well, we will live with it. Hey. got them um okay so head downstairs no actually you know what just head to bed because it is that time and we do need to go to bed um and then as soon as tyson gets in he's going to also head to bed because um i want to try and get his schedule of sleeping on track as much as we can so i'm gonna go ahead and end this episode off here I really hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to leave a like on the video if you did and also comment because it is always appreciated. And if you could please subscribe, it helps with the channel growth and all of that fun stuff. And yeah, so we're so close to 1K and it's so exciting and I'm so excited for the giveaway. Um, I think, just to you know, get the information out for you guys, I think um, it's not going to be over the Sims 3 community. It's going to be over, uh, you know, I'm going to send something to you. But obviously, um, it, you know, it does really depend on how I can get that sorted out and get it sent to you because obviously you would then have to give me your address, which is obviously, you know, not creepy because I'm not really a creep. So it wouldn't really affect you, but yeah, you know, you know what I'm saying? You know, some people are a bit lenient to give people their address. I would be too. I agree. But yeah, anyways, we'll sort it out, um, later. Anyways. I love you all and I will see you in the next episode. Remember to leave a like on the video and yeah, I think that's that's it. That's all I have to say.
yeah, I think that's it. So yeah, I love you and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye guys.